Ever wanted to own a street racer? Wow. It costs too much money. Well, today I'll show you how to make the amazing 9 volt street racer for under $5. What you will need. Now feel free to pause the video and see the basic materials needed for this project. Other tools may be needed later on. Start by marking off and cutting two lengths of straw that line with the width of the 9 volt battery. Once they are cleanly cut, you can now glue them firmly with hot glue across the body like so. Next, grab your piece of coat hanger or any other thick wire and cut two lengths that extend outside the straw length by about half an inch on each side. This will be the axle that the wheels rotate on. For the wheels, you will need to cut four pieces of your dowel like so. Try and make them as even as possible. Once they are all cut, it is recommended that you sand them flat so they are nice and smooth and will roll better later on. Next, you will need to find a drill bit that matches the diameter of the coat hanger wire. In this case, I am using the 3 32nd bit. Then place it in your drill chuck and you are ready to go. One way to make sure you drill in the center is to draw an X shape across the wheel and drill in the middle intersecting line. All you have to do now is drill the hole and continue with the other three wheels. When you're finished, you can start pressing them onto the axles attached to the 9 volt car body. Glue can also be added to ensure the wheels don't fall off. Once the car body is done, it's time for the LEDs. Before wiring, you must first know that typically the longer leg is the positive lead and the shorter leg is the negative lead. Next, wire them together in series, positive, negative, positive, negative. You can simply twist the leads around each other like so to conjoin them. Before going any further, test the circuit to see if it powers on. In my case, the battery was used up and had barely any power left. However, on a brand new battery, you may need to add resistors to prevent the LEDs from frying. To prevent shorting, I added glue to the conjoined leads. This will also help keep them together. To attach the negative lead to the battery, you must pry open one of the metal tabs to make an open lip. The wire can then be slid into place and the metal tab folded over itself. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to see more future videos. Feel free to check out my website as well, but before you do so, please like us on our Facebook page to stay up to date on the latest science and DIY projects. You can either scan the QR code or check the description below to like us on Facebook.